Hey everyone, welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca, our third lesson in our air loss series on aircraft identification. This is uh, pretty quick, should only be a few minutes, and uh, hopefully you're still with me after the very boring first two lessons. Let's start with talking about uh, registration marks. Every aircraft uh, registered in Canada and pretty much every country requires registration marks. They must meet the standards uh, that are com contained within the cars. So you can see uh, here on the left, we have uh, a home-built aircraft, G-K-E-L-S, that I believe is from Great Britain, because the G, the Canadian ones, are start with a C. And then the on the right, we have a jet, UPC8504. I have no idea where this jet's from, but UP, that's another uh, country. And then C8504 would be the individual uh, registration mark of the individual airplane. So in Canada, everything starts with either a CF or a CG. In the US, it's N and then a number. Every aircraft in Canada must carry on board a certificate of registration. This is issued by Transport Canada and identifies the registered owner of the aircraft. Should mention here as well, you don't really need to know this, but it is somewhat interesting. What it doesn't identify is who has title to the aircraft because somebody might own an aircraft and lease that aircraft to somebody else. And the person who is leasing that aircraft would be registered as the owner, even though they don't own it. This can also come up if somebody sells an aircraft to which they do not have title to. And I think this is pretty rare, but I'm sure it has happened. Somebody steals an airplane and then sells it to somebody else for a great deal. And then when that person goes to register it, they just, they find out that, oh, wait a minute, somebody else actually owns this aircraft. They have title to it. So what establishes title is a chain of bills of sale. Uh, and that, that's how you actually find out who owns the aircraft. I'm not sure how the law works in Canada. I don't know if it's ever uh, come up, but in the U.S., let's say you buy an aircraft with a bad title. You purchase an aircraft from somebody, you go to register it. Let's say Transport Canada even registers it for you, but then somebody comes out of the woodwork and says, wait a minute, that's my airplane, and I can prove title. I have these bills of sale, and they're all valid. Uh, in the U.S. anyway, it would be that person who gets to have their airplane back, and the buyer of the aircraft, well, they lost their investment. They can go and try to sue whoever fraudulently sold them their aircraft. That concludes this uh, very short uh, lesson on aircraft identification. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you in the next lesson.